Good morning. <laughs> and now I'm at guffnowhouse.com. It's actually 3 p.m. I've had a lot of coffee, and this is the 2020 LibTech Litigator Snowboard. LibTech throwing a Hail Mary uh, way back to 1990 when the Litigator first came out. This is a 170 centimeter wild child. Uh, that's a lot of fun to ride, actually. This is a, a free ride deck for intermediate to advanced level riders. It only comes in one size. Five feet, seven inches, which is actually pretty cool. Um, along with that is a fairly wide waist width of 26.2 centimeters, which is nice for anyone with size 12 feet and larger. Uh, but overall, this is a great deck. Not only is it a fun shape, that goes back to 1990 when LimTech first released the Litigator to core shops around the world. Um, but it has like updated technology that makes it fun to ride and just a little bit easier than those planks that you'd find back in the early 90s. Now obviously, this is a directional shape board. This is a gigantic directional shape board. Maybe not as big as the Doughboy that they released last year, but it's pretty dang big. It has a slight taper. The nose is about four millimeters wider than what you find in the tail, but really not too much. And within the running length of the board, which is 122 centimeters, there's a two inch setback stance, which is kind of nice. You know, like it has a fairly long nose, it has a gradual style sweep, and the tail kind of kicks up and is blunted and cut off in the back end. But the cool part about the Litigator is the profile shape. Now, again, this is a long board, has a lot of surface area, it still floats in deep snow, but it really charges hard on groomed trails because of the C3 camber dominant profile shape. It has an arcing style camber from contact point to contact point, but the center of the board, in between the feet, there's a raised up rocker section to kind of give it a little bit more of a approachable style feel instead of just like a full blown out camber. Obviously this board, because of its uh, high end response and stability at high speed, it's gonna have a fairly stiff uh, flex rating of about a seven on the one to 10 flex rating scale, quite a bit stiffer than your average style board. And that's because of the original power construction. Now that's a lightweight and strong wood core that you find 75% uh, Aspen in and then 25% Polonia. So even though it's a big deck, surprisingly enough, it's actually pretty lightweight for a 170 centimeter style board. There's Biax fiberglass on the bottom, which makes the board pliable without being too stiff, and then Triax on top, which is a great combo with the thickness of that wood core, and of course that C3 dominant, uh, camber dominant profile shape. And then, uh, then on the base, this is kind of interesting. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, they didn't put a centered base into it. It's probably need to keep the price point just a little bit lower. Uh, this is a TNT combo style base, which means it's kind of extruded, kind of, uh, kind of centered, but uh, it's not centered and it's not extruded. It's like right in the middle. So be happy with it because it's dope. And then lastly, uh, it's gonna have a mellow man attraction. Now, if you look down the barrel of that, uh, that gun right there, don't do that. Uh, there's gonna be a very mellow mag. Um, in a lot of the uh, freestyle boards and a lot of the uh, kind of all mountain freestyle boards from LibTech, uh, they have pretty aggressive man attraction. In the experimental division of LibTech, like what you'll find this litigator coming from, uh, they have mellow mag. It's like not very aggressive, but it still holds a good edge when you're on firm conditions. This is a dope board, lots of fun. It's always great to see these throwback uh, graphics and shapes kind of come back into play with upgraded technology. LibTech really hit it out of the park with the litigator, absolutely love this thing. This is a dope board for 2020 from LibTech. Make sure to check it out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description right now. Leave me a comment or a question. I wanna know uh, if any of you guys in 1990 ever rode the original Litigator. If any of you guys still have one, shoot us a direct message and let me see those pics. Um, dope board, make sure to check it out. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there. And hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.